Good morning, Magic. I'm Gavin Verhey from Wizards of the Coast, and today I want to talk about three ways to level up your commander decks. Number one, if you've known me for a while, you probably know what I'm going to say first. Play more lands. Lands are the backbone of Magic, but they are especially important in Commander. The game is going to go on really long, you're going to never want to miss a land drop, you're going to almost always have a mana sink, in fact your commander is a built-in mana sink, and lands don't normally get blown up unless you're playing with, I don't know, April, you know who you are, then you're just going to get wrath, your creatures are going to die, you're going to get blown up by naturalizes and your artifacts are going to die, but your lands will almost always stick around, you will have uses for them over and over and over again. Additionally, with a wide card pool, there's so many cool lands you can play, even cycling lands, looking at the triomes from Aquaria, these are great. If you need a spell later on, you can cycle them away and turn them into a spell, but if you are mana short or you don't have a land drop for your turn, you can play them as a land. There's so many great options out there. Put more lands in your decks. I play 39, 40 minimum in most of mine, and I think many of you could try out playing more lands and just see how it does for you. All right, let's go to the next one. So when a lot of people think about Commander, they think of big, splashy cards like Genesis Wave to put most of your library on the battlefield, or Rise of the Dark Realms to win the game on the spot. And these are awesome, and you should play them, and they're really, really powerful. But my second tip is to be mana efficient and to play mana efficient versions of cards. While having some end game threats is super important and you should have them, the majority of your deck, I'd say at least two thirds for my decks anyway, are cards that cost four or less mana. And the reason for this is you wanna make sure you have enough to do in the early to mid game. You want to be able to play your spells, defend yourself early, ramp your mana, draw cards, find what you need. And in the late game, if you have a handful of these things, well, you can cast most of them anyway. And while it's true that a six mana wrath is generally better than a four mana wrath when you're looking at board sweepers, and you're not going to cast a wrath on turn four in Commander, well, on turn 12, that extra two mana you save is really, really important. So being efficient can go a long way. Tip number three, play some artifact, enchantment, and graveyard removal. Now you don't need a ton, but you're definitely going to want some. In almost every pod of Commander, there's going to be someone doing one or more of these things, whether it's playing a Delphin Ori, or a Phyrexian Arena, or doing flashback shenanigans. These are all things that happen on the regular, and being able to shut them down is big. Normal board sweepers that deal with creatures won't take care of these. You want to make sure that you can win if you're the last player at the table along with another person. You don't want to get down to the one-on-one -on -one situation and not be able to deal with the problematic artifact or enchantment. And three, make sure the hero of the table. Everyone normally wants to help you after you're blowing up one of their problematic artifacts or enchantments, or at least mini players will. Additionally, it's really easy to put these into your deck. There's some stuff like Scrabbling Cause or Relic of Progenitus, which just cycle away and easily cantrip to draw you a new card. It's a bit like eating your vegetables in that you don't really want to include them, but you need to include them. I know they take away another slot in your deck, but find your favorite ones and get them ready to go. They'll be in your commander decks for a while. And those are my three commander tips for today. But what do you think? Do you agree? Disagree? Have you tried them before? Leave a comment below and I'll be there to check them out. And if you enjoyed checking out this video, please go ahead and consider subscribing. We've got content coming three days a week and I hate for you to miss any. And speaking of missed content, you can find my old videos as well, so go take a look. I'll be back soon to talk with you again. In the meantime, may you always draw land in Commander when you need it. You got this.